What do you do when your battle chooses you? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're here and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you're still on the ground? That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Pain ain't permanent. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You're bigger than your pain. You're better than that. Come on, you need to remember, this is not the first time you cried. This is not the first time you were hurt. This is not the first time you didn't have enough money. This is not the first diagnosis that came up from behind. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You know it was hard, but you did it hard. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Everybody has a turn back moment. Everybody has a crossroad. You can either decide to continue or to quit. To go forward or to go back. I need you to evaluate yourself and ask yourself the question, how are you wired? When you have a trial or a tribulation, how are you wired? When you hear the word no, does it break you? I'm wired differently. I get excited about no, I love no. I love it, it turns me on. No, Eric, I'll be back. I'll be back, I'll be stronger when I come back. Don't shun the no. Every no, you take the no and you recycle it. You hold on to it. You embrace every no and you let each no make you callous to no. You get so strong that when you hear no, it turns you on. There's gonna be some scars. The scars gonna come. You might as well get blessed by the scars. They gonna come. There's gonna be scars. There's gonna be defects. There's gonna be problems. You running from the blessing. There's gonna be scars. There's gonna be some hiccups. We gonna take some L's. We gonna get hurt. We gonna cry. We all go through it. You think you the only one? Some of you though, you let your pain pump you. You let your pain make you quit. If you get past it on the other side of it, it's going to be phenomenal. I don't want to go through this process, but nevertheless, take me through the fire. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. 
There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. Nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. No situation, no circumstance, no piece of adversity can define your life. Never let a circumstance define And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumber. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand, we gonna live, and we gonna die by what we stand for. And everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. Be encouraged today that no matter what you walk through, no matter how broken your marriage is, no matter how many times you fail, there is within you a spirit that is greater than whatever is going on around you. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight, it's going to come victory.